Somebody lost 28,000 rubber duckies in the Pacific Ocean. This is unimportant. Guaranteed to not change your life. This is the Unimportant Podcast. What is up, guys? Welcome to the Unimportant Podcast. In today's episode, uh, apparently some guy lost, uh, would you say 28,000? Some moron lost 28,000 rubber duckies in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. You're a moron! In the middle of it or like off the shore? In the middle. <laughs> oh, but what, what was he doing? How is it? Well, you, you can tell me about it. What, what, what? This How? happened in Why? This happened in 1992. Okay, so we are that? still finding these rubber duckies washing up on beaches all over the world. 25 years ago? <laughs> 30 years, yeah. 27 whatever years ago. In 1992, a shipping crate containing 28,000 plastic rubber duckies fell overboard on its way from Hong Kong to the to the United States. Oh, so it was it was Chinese manufactured ducks yes. coming to coming the United to the US, States to be sold. They the whole container somehow got bumped off the ship. <laughs> and and they just they but, all, First of all, I'm claiming this was not an accident. Because how hilarious would it be <laughs> to just dump 28,000 rubber is, duckies in the ocean? This is pre-internet too. So it, Absolutely. Well, so, well, I wonder, yeah. In, an inter- in the internet age, I would I would a thousand percent say this is on purpose. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know what happened, but then you can tell your friends. It, it wasn't like it was oil or like yeah. car parts. Like these are rubber duckies, which are kind of hilarious. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this happened, like I said, in 1992. Mm-hmm. They are fine. They're still finding these things all over the world. <laughs> We're talking about Alaska, Hawaii, both the North and South Poles. They have discovered these rubber duckies. How do they know that they're, those are rubber duckies? Well, oh, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Well, actually, let, let's go right into that. Um, this is part of an article from The Independent. A man named Curtis Ebsmeyer, who is a retired oceanographer, a one. It, right? An enthusiastic beachcomber from Seattle is considered the leading export on the duck disaster. <laughs> Wait a minute. Apparently that's hold a Hold on, hold on, hold on. So first of all, he's a beachcomber? What does that mean? He, he just, he's a bored, retired guy walking up and down the beach looking for cool that stuff. That reminds me of that. Remember in Spaceballs the movie, did you ever watch that? No. And they're like, we need to comb the desert. And so they get these giant combs. <laughs> and then they're combing the sand of the desert. That's what I picture this guy doing. That, he, that, that's probably, he goes, <laughs> this, this, he's probably one of those guys with a... Well, with, uh, the, the metal with the detector. metal detector. Yeah. I've always wondered if that's a viable career choice. This It's working out for this guy. <laughs> he's become he the is, world's leading expert. He's now a ducky expert. I wonder, well, what, what do you, what can we become the, the world's leading expert on? Because there's got to be something that's so unimportant that nobody else cares about it. And we yeah. can just, you know, spend a month and a half doing as much research as possible and, and become the leading expert seriously. in, I, I don't know, bouncy balls or yeah. uh, I don't know. You name it. Yep. Interesting. So Mr. Absmeyer estimates that a couple thousand of these ducks are still floating in the oceans today. He says, I have a website that people use to send me (laughs) pictures of the ducks that they find on beaches all over the world. He's got a website. I am able to tell quickly if they are from this batch. (laughs) Can we we call this guy? I think we absolutely should. (laughs) Where does he live? In Seattle. Okay, so next time we're in Seattle, we got to hit this guy up and and ask him for an interview and and get him on here talking about his... I want to hear everything about the... I I have a feeling this guy could talk for hours about the duck disaster. Oh, man. This guy is dedicating the golden years of his life to floating rubber duckies in the ocean. You know, more power to you. So like he said, I am able to tell quickly if they are from this batch. I've had one from the UK, which I believe is genuine. A photograph of it was sent to me from a woman in Scotland. (laughs) <laughs> these ducks have made it to Scotland where okay okay so that's that is impressive because you got two continents in the way yeah and so it either floated around Southeast Asia yeah or floated around this South guy's America a, this unless guy's it str- went through Panama which the, he could have decided to take a shortcut yeah yeah swam right through the canal wow and and so do, do people send him the ducks or they just send photos of the ducks I think both. I wonder if we can, well, I wonder if he's got like collection of them. I, I'd be willing to bet he has a collection of rubber ducks. How yeah. would he even know? How did he even know that this existed? Appar- apparently they are, there are distinguishing marks on the ducks or oh. that they are unique in some way that they have not been produced that way before. So got it. he is able to immediately tell us that. He's probably got, he's probably got several. Pi- Other thing too, is if you find one of these ducks in Scotland, how would you know to even send it to this guy? If I found, because if I was walking up and down the beach, combing the beach yeah and i found a rubber duck i'd go huh cool and i'd continue on with my day i might i might pick it up and throw it away because i'm anti-littering but um that's not litter 
Okay. That's a duck. Okay. Ducks are not litter. <laughs> so I, w I just wouldn't think to go, I should send a picture of this to the leading, the expert in rubber duck oceanography <laughs> and, and see what he thinks on rubber the Rubber duckography. <laughs> I'm a rubber duck duckographer. Hold on. Is this a, uh, nope, never mind. Not that one. Uh, is this a unimportant council? <laughs> Does he have a council alert on here? Is that what we're, is, is that part of this? I don't we're know. part of the rubber duck scientists of America. He, he's leading He's it. the leading I scientist. I wonder if we can get on the board. I, I'd be willing to bet there's not a lot of competition for that. Oh, man. I'm, we, yeah, we're going to have to email this guy. This is so unimportant. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Unimportant Podcast. Don't risk changing your life. Subscribe today wherever you listen to podcasts.